Welcome back to Linda Keeping the Real Cooking Show. And today I am cooking baby lemon butter beans. So this is what you're going to need. So here we go. Okay. I have a two pound, I had a two pound bag um, baby lima bean, they've been washed. And a two pound bag is like 13 ounces. Okay, I had leftover seeds from my last video and which I'm gonna cut up another onion to go in there. I have two tablespoons of margarine. I have a half a bowl of whole okra. I have two and a half cup of chicken broth. Chicken broth. Uh, with my season, I'm gonna do Creole season, garlic powder, onion powder, complete season on, smoked paprika, black pepper. And I'm also going to put, I'm having neck bones with my beans. And I have already washed and pre-cooked them. My butter bean be going in there. So they are pre-cooked. Because they take so long to cook. Okay, this is where we're going to store it. Okay. I'm gonna start with cutting this onion first. Cut the onion. Because I need an extra. I don't think enough onions in that mix right there. Okay. That's where I'm adding another one. Okay. And this one. See here, I got the red pepper, yellow pepper, green pepper, and celery and green onion. It's enough for my ladies. Okay. Okay. Celery, a season, and I'm a seasoning in y'all. Cut the butter beans, baby lima butter beans, they'll be done within um, 30 to 45 minutes, the most. It will be done. Okay? 
Now, since my neck bone is smoked neck bones, I do not want to put the season on it. So, the way I'm going to do my neck bone, my season, I made all my season in my chicken broth. Because I do not want my beans to be salty. So, I'm going to put like a teaspoon of black pepper. Just a teaspoon of black pepper. I'm putting paprika. To y'all season, I'm not doing a lot of measuring. Not really, too much. I'm doing uh, season on. I recommend y'all do a teaspoon to everything. A half a teaspoon, I mean half a teaspoon. Because the neck bone is already salty. Wish I boiled the first bowl. I boiled some of the salt off of it. But I recommend if you do your season, do a half of each. Half a teaspoon. I just did this one. That's the onion powder. And I'm adding the garlic powder. And I'm gonna add some Creole season. And just do a half, y'all, to everything. A half a teaspoon. Because I'm telling you, that play a big role when you cook with salted meat. You definitely, most definitely have to be careful. And I'm just gonna mix that together. Everybody don't do this like this. But um, it's my way of doing it to protect my food that I buy. Okay. Now I'm gonna put my, I already have water in here, so I'm adding my chicken broth with all my seasoning. And I'm telling y'all, this is a good way to make sure you don't salt your food. I'm telling you, I have two tablespoons of margarine, and I'm also gonna put in here. Now that season you seen, that will be all the season. I will put no more season besides but I'm finna show y'all mix. Now, okay. I already have a little oil in the skillet. Put my top back on here. And when you cook it, make sure your pot is simmering, the fine, so you wanna cook evenly. You don't want your pot way back there, you know. Always make sure your cooking pot is in the middle. On top of the stove. Okay. Here we go, y'all. Now, I'm going to cook my pet back. And it's hell salt. This salt me too. So that ring, light on the season. You do not have to use a lot of season. When you use the smoked meat, do not use a lot of season at all, period. Now, the okra's back, they're not ready. Uh, when it's time for these to go in, I'm letting y'all know I'll be putting them in, but y'all see them at the end when the beans is done. So I'm putting them in the fridge. Okay. okay. And baby lima beans are delicious. I love them. I love them. And my meat really done. Not tender, tender, but by the time my beans get done, my meat and everything is ready. So now I'm gonna fry my fat back. I put my fire on, but it wasn't. But um, like I said, you do your season. Do a half a teaspoon. And if you're doing more season than what I already showed you, then do like a one-fourth or something like that. But I, I, I think um, a half of each will really do the job. But never put a lot of season when you cook the smoke meat. 
Just get a grinder up. So while that way, I'll be right back. Clone this up. Well, y'all, trick or treat is gone. Now it's Thanksgiving time. Okay, y'all. Um, and I will be doing some videos, show you how to make homemade dressing, you know, pies, how you dress your ham, um, potato salad, stuff that, you know, some people just don't know how to cook it. But I'm gonna show you what I'm cooking for my holiday, which is not nothing big because my kids, they all married. They do their own thing, but I do prepare enough food in case they pop up, which I know they'll be here for Christmas. But Thanksgiving, I don't think so. But anyway, I'm going to be cooking some uh, Thanksgiving meals. I'm not going to wait till Thanksgiving, so what I'm going to do is a, a preparation meal. I will be doing that, y'all, probably. If I don't start this week, definitely next week, and y'all see how I prepare my meals. And show y'all a way when Thanksgiving come, you ain't got to be in the kitchen doing all of that. Pre-cook it. You know, cook ahead of time. Pies. Uh, pecan pies. I know somebody want banana pudding and all that. And I just cook. When I cook, I cook a piece. So y'all will be seeing my videos that I will be doing. And um, a lot of people don't know, like, a lot of season. You really don't have to be cutting up all this season because they sell it in the frozen department. The um, department where the bell pepper onion all there, they have season in containers. That's already diced up. So, you know, and you want to make pies, they got pie crust already made. So, it's up to us how we work out Now, what I'm not gonna do, y'all, I'm gonna show you. What I'm not, that's good enough right there. I'm gonna show you something. See all that? See all that? That would not be going in my beans at all. I just like frying it. Okay. No sorry, they would not go in my beans. That back is okay. But it ain't that good. I do not put that in my beans. I only get the meat. That's it. No grease, see that? No grease. Just the fat back. Now if I pour all that in my beans, I'd have messed up a whole meal. Because I already got seasoned, the neck bone already smoked, seasoned, so I messed up a whole meal. So you disregard that. And I'm gonna stir my pot here. And I'm gonna let these cook. They're gonna come to a gravy. You cook until they get to like a gravy. And this it, y'all. You see how I'm gonna season. And I will not be adding no more season. I have to taste these babies, okay? I'm dealing with pork. 
fat back. Smoke meat. Be careful with that when you cook it. So, y'all stay tuned. I'll be back. Bye. Okay, y'all. Keeping it real. I am back. And the butter beans and egg bones and okra are ready. So, come on, y'all. Let's take a look. Mm. Okay, y'all. There go my butter beans and the mm. You see? My butter beans and the mm. And they are delicious. Okay. Y'all look. Look at them butter beans. Make oh they hot. It's so hot. Look at the okra. It's too hot, y'all. Don't they look divine and delicious? Huh? Look at that, y'all. Give me a thumbnail. Okay. Ooh, y'all. I just got to taste some. Ooh. It's too hot. I'm just going to taste a little bit, y'all. I can't eat. It's too hot. I thought I could do it. It's too hot. Look, y'all. It's too hot. But I had to show y'all. season you can taste the season um and then what I like about it if you want to sprinkle a little more salt a little more pepper you can do that in my opinion you don't need any of that so I hope y'all enjoyed my video today and there will be more to come and y'all stay blessed stay safe stay out of trouble until my next video Bye.